out of the shadows hello everyone welcome back to another spirit mod video so here we go we're gonna be finding the dust king and we're doing it with throwing stuff so we got a couple throwing things from the spirit mod itself the adamantite and lace i don't know if that's how you pronounce it the titanium triangle meteor geo shurikens cobalt cutters crystal knives and the ball of flesh mm, yummy isn't it but here's all of these we're using the uh, armor from uh, Zoklin, because I think that's pretty appropriately tiered for the boss we're about to fight. But check out some stuff faster than others, obviously. Uh, there's not much to say about that. I think this is the fastest one. It's Crystal Knives. But yeah, let's fight this man. We're going to buff up, and we're going to fight him. We're fighting the Dust King. It's not nighttime, is it? All right. Boom. Where is he? Oh, the music is bumping already. I can feel it. I can feel it in my bones. Oh, I don't want to leave my biome, though. I don't want to leave my biome. So we're doing this in expert mode. Hopefully our gear is properly tiered and we don't do anything too crazy. So I'm hoping. Oh, these explode on contact? Oh, hell yeah. But I don't think they penetrate. So let's use some other stuff here. Oh, did I dodge that? Oh, I got turned on my headphones. All right, hopefully I'm not too quiet, too loud, whatever. Too quiet, I don't really care about too loud. But this dude is moving quick on us. He's moving awfully quick, so let's keep our distance here. Ooh. I'm trying to see how much health he has. I don't know why I healed there. I wasn't missing that much health. Oh, dude. Do these pierce? These don't pierce. These don't pierce, so we gotta be careful here. But uh, I'm rocking some. I think these accessories are properly tiered. I'm not actually 100 on that one. We're gonna use the and lace. I feel like the and lace is a little bit better. I really hope it's pronounced Anlis? Anlis? It can be Anlis. I feel like Anlis is too big. Too big of a word to just say. But throw some Anlis in them. Anlis sounds correct. So I like these little dash pattern. It's pretty hard to dodge here and there. You don't time it right. But let's see if we can just not get hit anymore. The dodging hits. Woo! I'd rather get hit by the little ones than get hit by him. 100% on this there. This guy's got some health. 48k. Hopefully I'm gonna find him with the right tier stuff. He's chunking me. Maybe that's just his thing he does. Okay, I think I'm starting to kind of get his jukes. Not jukes, get his uh, pattern now. That's a little like, he does it four times in a row, I believe. Ooh, that was terrible. I was trying to decide if I should fly up or juke to the left. None of, none of the above was the right answer there. Okay, that worked out. I don't know what happened there, but it worked. Look at all these fools. Look at all of them. Can I, will this even help at all? Does this set stuff on fire? I think I set stuff on fire. These are him for like 100. It's pretty good. Okay, can we just keep on not taking that much damage? We're fine to go. But I'm still trying to figure out what would be the best weapon. Is it the shurikens? Or is it the shurikens? Maybe these are the ones that do the work. I mean, they pierce, right? Yeah, they do pierce. So why would I not go with something that doesn't pierce? What's if that star hit? That would've been nice. That would've been really nice. But his health is going down really slow. You got 48k, you got him 35. We're going a lot faster now. Hopefully, you don't choke towards the end, which is typical. Typical of me to do, which is happen a lot. We got like little things exploding. I don't know if you saw that there. Something like exploded in a bunch of directions. Look right there. There it is. Little like purple beams of light flying everywhere. Then we got him to around half. Ooh, he's emitting. He's emitting some more flames. Got now. Is he, is he finna spit flames? Uh oh. Are you ready? Don't burn, don't burn my house down with the flames you're about to spit, sir. These shadow flames. But yeah, I like the idea of a shadow flame boss. I think Shadow Flames are really cool. Like, theme in Terraria? It's, not, I mean, it's kind of a theme. There's a lot of Shadow Flame stuff, like the Hex Flame. Is the Hex? The Hex Flame Ball? I don't know what that's called. Hex Doll. The Shadow Flame Knives. Is there a bow? This is a bow. Pretty sure it's a bow. Yeah, that's nice that mods. Are, I don't know if all mods, but I know a couple mods do expand on it, especially this mod, obviously. But, uh, I think this guy would probably be fairly early on in hard mode. 
Shadow Claim, you can fight a Goblin Invasion. That's probably like recommended progression. Goblin Flame right off the bat. Goblin Flame. Uh, goblin Invasion. Hard mode Goblin Invasion. Get some Shadow Flame gear from that. Just reset for like the beginning of pre-hard mode. Oh, no, it seems like that'd be a good idea. Hey, since there's like less and less spawns he's sending in, I think we can just pretty good use of these knives. These ones are fast, and more DPS. Hopefully, that is the actual case here. Get some good DPS off on him. I don't know, he keeps on like summoning stuff in front of him, though. I'm trying to stay, you know, where this area is, because this area is like automatically has stuff lit up in the background. Where's my highest damage? Shurikens are definitely not the highest damage out of them, they pierce. I mean, these pierce, but they're really slow. Maybe I should just stick to them, and I keep missing them, too. I'd rather throw something fast that does a little bit less damage, I'd rather do DPS over just damage. Damage, I don't know. That may just be me. There's classes like that where you, like, you want to insta-kill something, or take your time to fucking enjoy it. Fast in it. Like, an example, a boss, would be, a boss for that would be the Moon Lord. You gotta take your time. How many people that rush the Moon Lord and just using like post Moon Lord gear? I know every time I fight the Moon Lord, I do. Take my sweet time in him. Because he's a boss that you gotta take time in. But not too long. Not too long till the fight gets boring. And that can happen really easily against the Moon Lord. Am I putting my debuff on him with this? Hold up. Let me just stop doing these. Let's throw some cobalt knives. How about these? These are pretty nice. If I stand still, I think I do more damage. But I don't think I want to stand still as a thing. Like, get rid of all of these guys right here. Oh, hey. Pierce all of them. Pierce all of them. Oh, no, it's dark. Whoa. He's not really doing, like, sideways. Strafes anymore, is he? Better. He's not going, like, as fast as he was earlier. A little bit easier dodge. Maybe that's just how the progression works throughout the boss fight. But uh, I put, I didn't put any defense on uh, stuff. What is this debuff shadow thing? I didn't put any. Uh, what is it? Warding? No, I got one warding on my accessory. The rest are all lucky and menacing. Oh, what is that? What is that? We got a, we got a pierce here. Oh, for the pierce. Whoa! There's damage when you're in it. Like a little circle, an AOE dot circle. And that damage over time on us. But this is a nice lengthy fight, and it's changing up throughout the fight, so it's not no Moon Lord fight. Is it Moon Lord? I guess Moon Lord kind of changes, but... I feel like Moon Lord don't know more boring fights in the game. Doable, but boring. But, uh... This mod definitely strays away from that, having interesting mechanics throughout the boss fight. Like, this guy had like, what, two, three different mechanics throughout it? <laughs> like the, I like all the noises. Oh, 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 oh. Like I got a battalion behind me fighting this guy with all those noises. Multiple people. Just doing work on him. He's taking not that much damage. He's not putting that much damage and he's not taking that much. Oh, maybe you have to be in the circle for me to damage him. I'm so damn you. Alright, back to the shurikens. Great velocity on them. Oh, it's over. Oof. Do work on that boy. Now, let's just see what my man has to offer for us. Starting with his expert drop. Increase magic and range damage by 13% at nighttime. Interesting, interesting. And dusk stone. So, we can go ahead and check what we can build with that. With the guy. Oh, he actually lived. Good job, Cole. Nice for you to live. Uh, we can make the Shadow Goblin, which is really cool. I think that is all. Hold up. Maybe we should pull out his uh his bag. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Let's just spawn it in under that. There you go. Okay, let's see what we get from this. Uh, Shadow Sphere. Okay. Oh, that looks like that'd be clean. Hold up. Put this on. So we can get some enemies spawning in here. I want to see what this would do. Okay, while we wait for enemies, see what else we got? Crystal Shadow. Oh, here we go. Throwing damage weapons. I see you. 
Oh, we need some enemies. Right, I'll spawn in my own enemies. Oh, that's clean. Holy shit. And it goes through multiple enemies? What the hell? Is that even fair? Uh, Alright, let's try this. I see. I see a theme of like piercing enemies right now. What else is there? I think that might be all. Yeah, that looks like... Oh, no. You actually get the Shadow Gauntlet itself, which is interesting. But that looks like that is all. So I hope you guys enjoyed the Dust King. Very fun boss. Now, I don't know how much more I will show off of the mod. There's not too much left to show. But there definitely will be things I'm showing off still. Little things here and there. So I don't want to spoil the whole entire mod before I do a playthrough of it. But I might go over some, like, you know, hard mode or shit. As in adamantite titanium look at all the new scepters and stuff and their throwing weapons they all come with but yeah i will see you guys next time